The Pharaoh's Curse The pyramids might offer a broad look into the scientific, into engineering advancements of ancient Egypts, but were quick to forget that the ancient Egyptians worshipped gods and dealt in curses. One of the most well-known curses is the Pharaoh's Curse, which is meant to punish anyone who disturbs the resting place of the kings and their belongings. The Great Pyramids of Egypt remain one of the eight wonders of the world, and although they have been studied by scientists and archaeologists for centuries, there is still a lot we don't know about them. Archaeologists have studied the structure, origin, and contents of the pyramids, but there are some discoveries that are not just surprising but simply terrifying. Be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more great videos. Also stick around until the end to see one of the darkest secrets of the Egyptian pyramids that you've likely never heard before. In today's video, we'll be looking at the Egyptian pyramids that terrify scientists. First on our list, the epic weight of the pyramid. The Great Pyramids are undoubtedly large pieces of construction and definitely weigh a lot, but have you ever wondered how much they actually weigh? The Great Pyramid of Giza alone weighs over 5.9 million tons and covers a volume of 2.5 million cubic meters. The pyramids were built using over 2.3 million blocks each weighing about 5 to as much as 70 tons. Imagine having to transport these large slabs of rocks in ancient times. No cranes, forklifts, or any type of advanced machine. The average crane today can lift about 10 to 20 tons at once, and even that would be done very slowly. Now imagine hundreds of thousands of workers having to lift and move these rocks from different parts of Egypt to the sites of the pyramids. Interestingly, not all the stones used in building the pyramids were sourced from Giza. Many of the exotic slabs of granite were brought in from Aswan in southern Egypt, which is over 900 kilometers away, which makes the schematics of transportation absolutely mind-boggling to scientists and engineers. For perspective, moving an average 10-ton rock for a few miles would take hours, and multiply that by the 2.3 million individual rocks that make up the pyramids. But instead of cranes, machinery, people did the lifting and. In addition to moving these stones from the quarry to the pyramid site, they would have then had to proceed in stacking the 203 steep steps that make up the pyramids in pinpoint accuracy. I might add, Engineers have debated for decades as to the possible techniques and methods applied by the ancient Egyptians, but are still unable to come up with a plausible way of how the Egyptians did it. Next. Impressive cutting. At this point, it is no debate that the ancient Egyptians had knowledge or access to advanced tools and technology, which they used in building the pyramids, one of which was the cutting tools they used in cutting up the stones for the pyramids. Archaeologists have settled that some of the tools used by the ancients were made of coppers, such as picks, granite, hammers, chisels, and even dolomite. These tools would have been meticulously fashioned to enable them to cut the stones to the exact dimension needed for the pyramid. The simple fact that this was all done over 4,500 years ago when the rest of the world was still figuring out stone weapons is incredibly impressive and frankly, a bit terrifying to say the least. The mysterious inner coffer archaeologists have discovered thousands of objects inside the pyramids, from sarcophagi to jewelry, and even scrolls of ancient. But one discovery that has left archaeologists in doubt is the mysterious coffer in the main chamber of the Great Pyramid. Coffers have been found in various locations of the pyramids before containing sacred objects and valuable items. And as a first glance, this particular coffer looks no different. It looks just like any chronic one would expect to find a 4,000-year-old pyramid. But on closer inspection, they realized it was anything but. This particular coffer is not only bigger than other regular size coffers but is also too big to fit through the narrow passage that leads into the chamber. This has baffled scientists since it was discovered because it could easily be said the coffer was constructed inside the chamber, but that is impossible. 
The coffer itself was carved out of a single granite rock and which couldn't have possibly been done inside the chamber since it wouldn't fit through the passage. Another hypothesis on the coffin's mysterious location is that it could have been lowered from the roof where the pyramid was being built, but then again, there is no evidence of this. Also, the fact that the chamber itself is made out of granite appears to blend with the coffer, such that it looks like the entire chamber, the coffer included, was carved out of the same large piece of granite. Geometric Precision Archaeologists and engineers have been terrified by the precision of the stone placements of the Great Pyramids and mathematicians and physicists have equally had their share. Astounding shock that some of the dimensions of the pyramids, there are a significant amount of geometric and mathematical values hidden in the designs. The pyramids, for one, if you multiply the dimensions of the pyramid's height by its base, you get 3.1415965 which is the value for pi, the foundation of all mathematics, engineering, and physics. Surprisingly, the value for pi wasn't officially discovered until about 2000 years after the pyramids were built by a Greek mathematician. Do you think that's a coincidence? Think again. The surface areas of the pyramids divided by the dimensions of its base give the golden number, which also wasn't discovered until thousands of years later and had previously only been found in nature in the spiral arrangements of leaves. The list of precision dimensions goes on, but one of the most significant numbers arises when you draw a circle on both the inner and outer sides of the pyramid and subtract each circumference. This gives you 299,792,458, which happens to be the speed of light and the exact GPS coordinates to the location of the pyramids. Mind-blowing, right? But that's not all, due to the continental drift and the shift of tectonic plates, the actual location of the pyramids has moved about 45 meters from their original location. So not only did the ancient Egyptians encode the exact geometric location of the pyramids, but they anticipated the exact coordinates, it would be 4,500 years later when the coded location would be discovered. If that doesn't terrify you, then nothing will. The Pharaoh's Curse The pyramids might offer a broad look into the scientific, into engineering advancements of ancient Egypt's, but were quick to forget that the ancient Egyptians worshipped gods and dealt in curses. One of the most well-known curses is the Pharaoh's curse, which is meant to punish anyone who disturbs the resting place of the kings and their belongings. The Pharaoh's curse is believed to not be discerning in its punishment and doesn't differentiate archaeologists from the thieves and will punish all who disturb the king's sarcophagus. Accordingly, the pharaoh's curses believed were being carried out in the lives of the archaeologists who disturbed the tomb of King Tutankhamun who ruled in the 18th dynasty, Lord Carvin. And Howard Carter, who discovered the tomb of King Tut in 1922, made the era of not just disturbing the tomb, but actually opening it. When they discovered the tomb, they found more than just a sarcophagus, but also a curse written in hieroglyphics on a clay tablet which translates to death, will slay with his wings, whoever disturbs the pharaoh's peace. Just five months after the end of the tomb, Lord Carvin passed away at the age of 56. The official report has the cause of death to be a bacterial infection contracted from within the tomb. But it's weird how bacteria has survived in an airtight tomb for over 3,000 years, but that wasn't all. Over 20 other archaeologists and visitors who initially visited the tomb of all past, from mysterious circumstances. The Myth of the Slaves It has always been a common misconception that the Great Pyramids of Egypt were built by thousands of. Some texts have even gone as far as stating these slaves were whipped and beaten if they didn't work. But detailed studies have shown that the opposite is true. The pyramids were actually built by skilled artisans, paid workers, farmers, archaeologists have recently uncovered ruins of purpose-built quarters and villages where thousands of workers lived. These accommodations were well furnished and designed to accommodate the multitudes of workers, 
which is in stark contrast to if slaves were used to building the pyramids. Alongside the ruins were ancient scrolls, which included seals and timestamps of our Egyptian officials, kept track of the workflow feeding the housing situation of the workers. In addition, animal bones were also found in these courses, which indicated that these workers were fed the best cuts of meat, something which was reserved for highly respected workers and not given to slaves. There were also hundreds and thousands of bread jars, which were more than enough to feed the equally large number of workers needed to build the Great Pyramids. Archaeologists and historians have stated that slaves would never have been treated this well, and that the workers were actually comprised of farmers' laborers. It's been revealed that at the time that there was massive flooding in most parts of Egypt, and this led to a scarcity of food as most farms were unable to produce food. Some archaeologists have even gone as far as stating that the pyramids were built as a large employment scheme, biking Khafu to provide a meaningful source of employment for its people during a time when they could not farm to provide for themselves. Although the job of working the pyramids would have been incredibly strenuous, it would have been either that or starvation. The Constant Temperature The pyramids of Giza located in one of the hottest places in Egypt, and scientists will forgive you if you expect the interior of the pyramids to be equally hot, if not hotter than the surrounding, but that simply isn't the case. One major fact about the pyramids that's left scientists dumbfounded is that these giant structures maintain a near constant temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The chambers within the pyramids could be likened to be nothing more than pressure pots soaking in the heat from the surrounding desert, but they turn out to be a lot cooler than expected. Archaeologists have discovered prehistoric ventilation systems built into the orifices of the pyramids, which serves a form of cooling system, which keeps the temperature at low levels. This is the first discovered form of ancient air conditioning. The construction still puzzles, scientists even today. The question is how are they able to construct air ventilation systems, which fed through all the major passages and chambers within the pyramids without the entire structure collapsing under the sheer weight of millions of tons of rock, however the ancient Egyptians did it. It is still a mystery as these ventilation systems have managed to survive for over 4,000 years and still function just as well, even in the hot summer months. Unusual Hot Spots Archaeologists have always taken a keen interest in the rock arrangements of the pyramids, but a recent detailed study shows that some of these rocks are not as ordinary as they seem. An international team of researchers used the latest infrared technology on scanning the entire exterior of the pyramids, and although most of the scans came out normal, they noticed some anomalies within certain areas of the pyramid. Mysterious heat spots were detected across certain areas, including a particularly large and unusual hotspot behind one of the rocks on the Khufu pyramid. Under normal circumstances, different materials such as rock and air conduct heat differently, which could explain these hot spots as simply voids and spaces below the surface. These spaces could simply be undiscovered cavities or quite possibly secret passages underneath the surface. And while that might be exciting, it's nothing unusual. But the scans revealed a particularly impressive and unusually large heat spot on the eastern edge of the Khufu pyramid. Just above the ground level, the researchers have been unable to identify what could be the cause of such an incredible absorption of heat in that particular spot on the pyramids, just to be certain of what they had detected. The team scanned the entire pyramid for a day as the pyramid heated up under the sun and throughout the night as it cooled down under the covers of night. And even though each block or rock used in building the pyramid is unique, scientists have been able to identify most of these rock materials, none of which should be able to heat up to such a degree. The temperature variation between all the different rock types across the pyramid is always less than no 0.5 degrees, but these particular rocks had temperature variations up to 6 degrees hotter than all the rest. Scientists are still at a loss for what could be causing these heat spots. The Location Theory We've established that the Great Pyramids are more than just marvelous feats of architecture, but engineering as well. 
And now it appears they hold more significant importance to the geographical placement of the Earth as well. A study of the pyramids back in 1870 by Dr. Joseph Cease, revealed that the Great Pyramid is located at exactly the center of all of Earth's land mass. A striking fact that this puzzle sign is for well over A. This precise location of pyramids is precarious because it's located the exact intersection of the longest line of latitude and longest line of longitude placing it at the center of all the landmass on Earth. This is a seemingly impossible feat when you think about it, and it's understandable why it has terrified scientists even to this day. It has led many to believe that the ancient Egyptians knew the earth was round back when the rest of the world was still running around in animal skins and hunting with spears. And not just that, they were able to calculate and construct the pyramid to near pinpoint accuracy so that it aligned with lines of latitude, longitude. Even though those facts weren't discovered until thousands of years later, according to most researchers, the Great Pyramid is the most accurately aligned structure in the world facing true north with merely no 0.6 of a degree of error. If you love this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We produce amazing videos with interesting topics in the future that are sure to interest you. You can subscribe now, and hit the notification bell. Mystery Code